I have something to show and tell you guys. <laughs> and actually, a few of you in the comments, while I was making this video, literally in the opening scene, when we were destroying this tire, pretty well figured it out. Like, because I walked in with this box and you saw this color on a label. That is, that is crazy. That's some pretty impressive internet sleuth work right there. In this box, you were right. A pile of Pan Racer Gravel Kings sent to the channel for the absurd amount of bikes that we have here that require tires from time to time. Allow me to tell you a story. It's not a good story, but it's a story nonetheless. So I get a message on Instagram with a link that says, hey, check this out. Panaracer is looking for ambassadors for their tires, their brand. My God, I've been using Panaracer tires from literally day one. When I built my like cheap cyclocross bike, cheap gravel bike, the first video on this channel, I was using Panaracer Pacellas and I swore by them. I told everybody to get them. They were sick because they were tan wall. They had a little bit of tread, so they were like okay on, on like a lot of multi surfaces. We rode them everywhere. My friends had them, I had them. We would just kind of like run the 700 by 38s on every bike we could. Very fond, sentimental memories of using Panaracer tires on my first of gravel bikes, no matter what it was. And then of course, later on, they come out with the Gravel Kings. They've got the, the tan wall one, you know, everybody's kind of losing their mind about those. But then the colored limited edition tread color Gravel Kings come out and boom, I go out of my way to make sure that the Rock Hopper has them on it because I love the idea of the purple green. Okay, if there's any company that I'm like, like rip roaring ready, to just stand behind, show off their stuff, be associated with, it's gonna be Panaracer. So I applied. <laughs> Wrong answer. No ambassadors outside of the US. But the channel looks sweet and I think we wanna work with you anyway. So I don't know where that like puts me. I guess you could call it uh, like a supported Panaracer rider, YouTuber, uh, make any content you want with our tires, show them off, but like there's no obligation because you didn't sign anything and we're just gonna send you tires, and, you know, thanks for what you do. Sweet. Where do I not sign? Enough bragging, a little bit of, little bit of non-humble bragging going on here. I'm just a little excited. Anyway, okay. The first bike that I wanted to, that I wanted to solve track lacrosse issues with is the Poseidon track lacrosse bike because as some of you who are more interested in the fixed gear off-road side of the channel may or may not know, um, this thing has tubes in it again, which is hugely to the detriment of any true track lacrosse riding. So I'm going to remedy that literally right now. So this is like kind of a, kind of an ad, I guess, but like at the same time, not really, cause I'm not paying. Anyway, I specifically asked for some smaller Gravel Kings for the track lacrosse bikes. So these are 700 by 32, uh, explicitly requesting this size due to the chain length that I have on this. And if I went literally any bigger, I'd have to go buy a half link. I don't want to do that. So I won't, I'm just going to run 32s tubeless, which is, Pretty much exactly what I had on with the specialized tires that were on this. And it worked wonders until I blundered a hop up a curb and destroyed the sidewall of that tire. Some of you may or may not recall kind of the annoyance, the, the trouble that I had trying to get some of the like tires that I had saved forever to set up tubeless on these wheels again. These wheels are tubeless, uh, like the they're tubeless compatible, they're supposed to be anyway, but all of the tires that I have had have been left over from other tubeless setups, bunch of sealant kind of like built onto them. So all of the suppleness was gone. The sealant was so thick, dried up on the sidewalls, couldn't get the sealant off. So they wouldn't take on this. And then these tires, the small block eights that are on here are uh, they're wire casing. Like, so they're not tubeless either. And they were giving me a really hard time. So. These being folding gravel kings should just 
go on plenty tight, pop right onto the bead and uh, give us no trouble at all. I truly expect the rear to give me the lion's share of tubeless setup issues. So I'm gonna go for it first because it's got a bunch of dents on it. It's kind of the one that gets beat up the most. So I've always had pretty good luck with Pan Racer tires going tubeless, so this should be no different. So they're definitely tight. Gonna be loud here in a second. So I mentioned, I mentioned that this wheel can be frustrating from time to time, right? That like it hasn't exactly been, uh, well, it hasn't exactly been cooperative in any tubeless tire wheel setup that I've tried to do to it in the last few attempts. I did, and you saw it, I did happen to get the rear to pop onto the bead. Not without problem. It certainly put up a fight. A fight that I was like expecting, sorta. Of. Um, at least it took eventually, which I expected it to, with a new tubeless specific gravel king going onto it, a tire that has typically not given me trouble in the past, with a rim that certainly absolutely has. But this stupid thing, this stupid, front tire was not cooperating. It tested me all morning. It was about 9.30 a.m. when I came in here and started this. It was around two o'clock that I gave up because I wanted to go ride bikes with my friend Dan. Which is actually just a completely separate video that I'm also finishing now because I wasted most of the day trying to fix this. Now, I came in here today knowing I was on a level playing ground again. I wasn't frustrated and annoyed anymore and I could actually look at it with a second day's worth of eyes. And I was like, that it's actually probably not the rim's fault, like at all. It's actually my air, it's my air chuck. And I kind of looked in here. I don't know if you can see in here or not. Do you see that? Do you see that seal right there? Yeah, that wasn't actually, that wasn't, that wasn't in there. There was nothing sealing the air that was going in between the valve and anyway, I was probably losing 60, 70% of the pressure that this would normally put into a wheel to the outside world atmosphere through this seal in, touched it on the front wheel, pop, pop onto the bead. So excitingly, 32C Panaracer Gravel Kings on here. They definitely allow for more space through here than the small block eights did and more space between the chain stays along with being able to run the chain a little bit looser so that the wheel spins quite a bit nicer for the gearing that's on there. One of these days, probably tomorrow, we're gonna go like, we're gonna go actually take those Gravel Kings out and bounce around on them. See if we can dent the rim a little more. But for the time being, in an effort to redeem myself for the, I'm going to also put the Gravel King slicks onto the Poseidon Redwood to remind myself how easy and smooth tubeless setups are supposed to go when you've got everything right. Okay, so check this out. This is how easy this is supposed to be and why it's so frustrating when it doesn't go the way that you know, you kind of expect it to. So you got your, so you got your tire and then you go install the tire like you normally would. Into this now, so pour a little bit of sealant in before you go. Okay, that's tire on, there's sealant on there. Now, this is the part where I ran into issues and this is the part where it's literally going to work first go with this wheel and tire setup as it should. Everything to do with having the correct seals in this thing. Oh. Oh. Boom, boom. Uh, bang. See? Done. Tubeless setup done. So I've been recording for eight minutes. That's how quick and easy it should go. And it all comes down to this thing. Nothing like unnecessary perseverance to lead to success. Sometimes the simplest explanation is the truthful one. So yes, 
pan eraser on the spin dat program i think it's a pretty good fit don't you resurrecting bringing back the former glory that is the tubeless the tubeless setup on the track lacrosse bike the only way to ride a track lacrosse bike. So if like you're interested in using pan eraser tires, like I always have, um, they're linked in, in below. You can get them through like Amazon links. You can get them direct through pan eraser. Um, we will certainly be talking about this more. Thanks for watching the channel. It's literally the thing that makes stuff like this happen.